What is up guys, Random Sparks here and I am in FS19 and I have uh, recently released a set of MDS uh, loader attachments and I'm just going to quick run through those and uh, some odd things that uh, you may not know but uh, first off we're going to find them here in the store. The first set would be the bale spears and those are in the baling technology section here um, right here towards the end. So. Uh, these have several attacher options and color options available. Uh, the first being uh, the wheel loader attacher, skid steer attacher, front loader attacher, and I've also added the three point attacher, as well as these color options, uh, most of which are offered by MDS, but I threw in a couple other brand colors in there as well, because uh, everybody has to have their John Deere green. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Now we also have in the animal section these pair of buckets here. We have the warrior bucket. Now the reason they are in the animal section uh, is because well they have several attacher joints so it's not like you'd want to put this in the front loader section if you can attach it to a skid steer or front or a, a, you know, a wheel loader or something. So I decided to throw them into the animals category since I mean I'm mostly going to be feeding with them and I figured that's what most people would probably like to use them for obviously you can scoop up grain and uh, lime and fertilizer and whatnot but uh, seemed like the easy spot for me so this is the warrior bucket here it has the skid steer and the front loader attacher it's a fairly small ish bucket um, I think it's about the size of the skid steer bucket uh, the default skid steer bucket paladin one but uh, no you can get it uh, in the same colors as the bale spear uh, this one, I know ours, real life, comes in this MDS gray color here. Um, and we have this for our skid steer as well. Uh, pretty nice bucket, warrior bucket. So uh, that is that. We can go ahead and buy that for the skiddy. And we also have the big old grapple bucket here. This thing's a monster. Uh, it holds more than the in-game uh, wheel loader bucket, the high tip bucket. Um, just one little quirk I have not sorted out yet is when you have it in the store here for some reason the grapples are into the cutting edge there but uh hopefully i can figure out how to fix that but it does not affect the gameplay once you buy it um run the grapple it will not run into that but uh same color options as uh the previous mods all kinds of options as well as telehandler attacher wheel loader attacher and the front loader attacher i'll go ahead and get that for wheel loader and I'm kind of curious how it looks in New Holland Yellow when we buy it and put it on the loader. But black does look pretty good with that New Holland loader. Let's be real here. But I'll buy it like that. Looks kind of goofy, don't it? So we have... I'm going to start with the uh, three-point attacher veil spear there. Put that on our handy-dandy 6R. And uh, it's kind of hard getting these rotations tuned in correctly. I got it just about as good as I can. I mean, you kind of have to play with it. These three-point spears are never perfect. I had one in uh, 17 that was far from perfect. So what I like to do for this uh, spear here is uh, I don't go all the way down. I go about there, lower it down to there, and uh, grab the first bale. Yeah, it just takes a little playing with, and you can get the hang of attaching with these uh, back spears. Front loader is way easier. Just with the three-point stuff, there's quirks to it. But it is nice that it's at least mouse controlled now. Alright, so I'll do the same thing with this one. That's not perfect, but it should do. Now, I know these things do have kind of a quirk of like sliding off, but I think you can keep it. Uh, kind of tilt it back like this, tilt it up as far as you can, it should come off just fine. And you can also use the uh, raise and lower with the V button, the V key, if that is how you want to use it as well. You don't have all the rotation stuff in there, but uh, that does work. And sometimes if you don't grab them right, only one will come off at a time. That's just how she works. So if you want to keep them next to each other, I just do this. Just back it up and 
set it next to the other one. So this thing could either be time saving or a time loss. Just depends. Uh, it's like I said, three points there, quirkier in hell. So yeah, everything in game here working just fine. Um, going to quick buy that uh, loader here. And nice thing about this grapple is it can grab bales as well. So if that's what you're into, if you don't want to buy a set of spears, or say if you're feeding like me and uh, you run out of uh, ground hay and you want to just throw in a whole bale, that's where this thing can come in handy. It scoops uh, regular feed, ground feed, as well as uh, as well as holds bales. So as you see there, it. The uh, grapple tines there were in the cutting edge, and then I quick raised it, and it like quickly went up, and now it does not go through the cutting edge at all. So all is well there. And you can grab at least a couple bales with this thing. Just depends on how you do it. You can do it a number of ways. That's kind of. Oh, I do. Obviously, I usually have them closer together. In fact, I might have to do that here, yeah. And that's easy as that. Yeah, I have uh, essentially the bale spear tines scripted on these tines here, as well as on the cutting edge there. Those, when it comes down to it. They are essentially bale spears. And there you go. You can hold your bales like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's pretty well the demonstration I wanted to do for you guys here. Just give a little run through of everything we got going on and show just a little, little bit of the quirks I'm going to try to work out here. But I wanted to get these out for everybody. So... That is all. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys next time.